In this movie, we review useful troubleshooting methods of the ECV AC compressor. If the inspection process confirms that the solenoid and the compressor are intact and the unit still does not operate, further troubleshooting of the control signals sent to the unit must follow the service. Keep in mind, erratic readings and signals generated by the system's various sensors will cause abnormal or no operation of the compressor. A thorough diagnostics of the system-related control devices, such as pressure and temperature sensors, and the related electrical circuit inspection should follow the process. The initial step should control whether the system is in operative condition and if the compressor is able to generate necessary pressures. The standard static and operating pressures diagnostics applies here. The next step is the AC system dedicated onboard diagnostics. It can reveal possible error codes registered at the AC control module. These codes must be addressed as the AC module may disable the compressor signal by some system issues found. Now we can inspect the AC compressor solenoid. This is the crucial part of the ECV compressor steered system. A standard multimeter is the main tool, but use of a specific ECV compressor tester is the most recommended solution. The tester enables a thorough troubleshooting of the solenoid in various aspects. By the resistance measurement, it can confirm if the solenoid is in the operational condition. Furthermore, the tester enables manual control of the compressor performance settings. The more advanced and valuable diagnostics is use of a lab scope to track input signals at the variable control solenoid on the compressor. At first, check of the voltage signal at the pulse width modulated compressor solenoid's wire is recommended. The main part of the test is reading the pulse width signal on the scope by the system running and provoking some changes within the signals sent from the AC module. For example, pressing the gas pedal instantly to the floor should reduce the compressor output or shut it off completely. The correct pulse width signal on the scope should momentarily change or drop to 0%. When the compressor is commanded back on, the scope pulse width modulated signal may reach to approximately 40%, then gradually rise to 95% on time. Too low variable voltage signal to the compressor, or close to 10% on time, may indicate that something commands the system off. Keep in mind, it is highly recommended to include a thorough ECV compressor operation check while servicing the system and before the decision of the compressor replacement. Inspecting the control signals to the unit may help to reveal some severe system issues, including electricity and sensor failures.